video high seas take seven okay now we are going to use extensions for visualizing vapor liquid equilibrium plots it is from the case study we've seen that something's wrong it seems that it is related to vapor liquid equilibrium and we clearly see it from the plot once again the computer is digital, but we are analogical devices. We can see this strange behavior because we are analogical. The plot is the tool to grasp and comprehend lots of numerical values. Thus, can we plot the vapor liquid equilibrium curves to see the same thing that Heisis is seeing regarding this equilibrium? Okay, we can. And we are going to do it uh, by means of the HiSys extensions. We can use an external module in a way which is very similar to uh, using Excel add-ins. Programming these HiSys extensions is an advanced topic, but we are going to learn how to use one of these extensions. The first thing is to register the uh, EQ plots uh, extension. So the first uh, thing is to obtain and, and download these, these files and to copy these files into a proper folder. Here they are. Now we can go to File, Tools, Preferences, the tab Extensions and here we can uh, proceed to register the extension. We have to give the path to the D DLL file and open, open the file. OK. Now we have to proceed to restart HiSys. Exit. Yes. Well, here we are again. Now we are going to use the EQ plots extension. File, menu, menu, flow sheet, add operation. Here we have to search for a special kind of operations, which are extensions. Equilibrium plots, add. Now here it is. We have add an operation, a new operation in the PFD. And this is the interface for this new operation. OK, to use it, we need to declare, select the plot type, select the components, and provide the thermal condition, one atmosphere, and plot. Here it is. This is the vapor liquid equilibrium plot for the fluid package selected. Of course, this is not the kind of plot we should have expected. OK, this might explain the strange behavior of uh, the system, and it's probably related with the selection of the fluid package. We go back to the basis manager and now we can try to investigate it. Now it's time for modeling this decision. These decisions are not the computer job. It's time for you to think you have the tool and now you can compare data, check results and make your own decision. Let's compare this data instead of Antoine fluid package, we can add all the fluid packages. For instance, this one, for instance, Uniquack. Now, we can declare that the fluid package to use is basis2. And we return to the simulation environment. Plot again. Okay. This is not the 
type of diagram we should expect, although it is different. Let's try another option. Let's try basis tree. Let's go back to the simulation environment and plot once again. Okay, this looks nicer. Is this the data we should um, we should use? We can compare this data and we can compare with this data. Do you trust the data from Wikipedia? Well, it's up to you. Now, this is the end.